kind of killed before they even begin. We saw you. You, you can't play Dota here. Sorry. Chronosphere up in the air. Alina. She's Outside gonna come down Chrono. real hard in a second. <laughs> Shad, now they get the RP off on the two supports in the back line. Fortunately, he managed to get the bulldoze, so Roger will be able to walk away. Uh, he's the one to fly, though. He's not going anywhere. His wings have been broken, and the two dragons, well, they are the victims of this team fight. That Luna, that Lena almost hit the moon. It was very high up there. Yeah. Lack of disable on NIP. They're, they're, they're really, they're, their best disable is Night Stalker. I believe uh, they were talking about on the panel, they need to play fast and not go hand of Midas. Well, guess what? Charlie's going to bank up a hand of Midas, but if he can actually cobble together a good fight with a Soulbind double silence out onto the two of these heroes, it's looking pretty good. Look at that Death Ward, though, on the high ground. It's laying into Charlie. Charlie has to stop, and he finally uses the Void onto Puppy, but he gets swamped on. Zai lands right on his head, crushes his skull, and now Saber Light, he's going to be up next. Yeah, or he goes down to the hit from Supreme, but Supreme left with very little left. Yule Scepter blowing up that ink swell, and now they have Supreme to their mercy. Matum Man executes him with Mana Void, and Misha, he'll be the last one down. Stand in for Ninja the Pajamas. He falls alongside the rest of them. A one for five exchange to the favor of Secret. Essence Ring is such a great one for this situation where you just kind of need to just go in, make yourself a target with the blade mail and such. Toss back into the rest of the team, just inside the Roshan pit. He's going to try and hookshot his way back into safety here. Meanwhile, the Night Stalker with that Ion Shell Surge goes in, but he's just getting bashed up. Oh no. He's going to wait around this Roshan pit and see if he can actually steal away the Aegis. The Maledict's still on him. It's going to bring him very low. Matumba Man, he just gets one second of vision on him. Man avoids him, finish him off. <laughs> the <laughs> Blade Mail. She, he chooses to uh, take his own life by hitting the blade mail, killing himself. Like they, they know that there's this right-handed uh, wraparound coming. Like everybody's just standing to the left. All right, they're going to give themselves an Animage Illusion and silence him as well, but he uses the Abyssal Blade to get over to the Darkseer, and that mana void. He was completely out of mana. They are going to be able to buy back, but I'm not so sure that Secret is really out of this. I mean, they're... I guess they can back up. Oh, hey, they, look, there's a clockwork back there. He's dead. He was, That's cool. He was desperately trying to go for the back lines there, but they've done a good job protecting them. Misha daring Supreme to man up on him. Meanwhile, Matumba Man is picking apart the supports. Fortunately, they all seem to have buybacks, so this is going to be a 10 versus 5. A small chance that Nooch's the Pajamas can actually pull out a kill here, and they can't even do that much. I think they almost used everybody's buyback there. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. One-sided games today, Jenkins. I feel like he's, he's so manly. He's going to try and toss him back into his team if they can finish him off. He's actually inside the cocks right now, which is perfect for the Sonic Wave. Turns over, deals with the egg, and looks back to Puppy, where Charlie, he's trying to finish him off. Nisha actually goes to the swap. They do have the Rolling Thunder, misses all of those heroes. Bounces back, clips the Venge, tossed on top of him. Uh, Charlie, does he not have Blink Up? I don't think he does. He just used it. And it looks like with that stun, maybe they're going to be able to... No, he blinks away. Huh. The, the, the Wolves are still trying to run him down, and the Blink isn't going to be up just yet. He's only got a sliver of HP. The Wolves might be able to kill him while Supreme... Oh. He got the kill on Charlie what? while the TP from Quop <laughs> succeeded. <laughs> Bro, dude, Matumba, that was like the greediest but coolest play I've seen in a long time. If he had pulled out both of those kills, that especially been at the insane. same time, that would have been a legend dude, move. 24 something. minute Manta on Animage. Yeah, you know what? 12k gold deficit, that's not as bad as last game. There's a... Uh, okay, okay, this is a, this is a start. Oh, the BKB. Surely they've got enough physical damage. It's the pure damage that I'll actually... Get that kill. Okay, they're still going to fight without the Lycan, though. T Secret's going to come in. And with the double damage on Nisha, I can understand why. Because the poor Queen of Pain, my goodness. This got ripped apart. They do manage to kill the Phoenix as well. So, hey, a two for two. Well, a three for two. That's the... Best outcome Ninja the Pajamas has had thus far. So this could end up being really awkward 
If Secret take this fight, lose it around the Roshan pit, they're gonna go. Nice use of this ultimate here from the Panko to make sure nobody can interrupt and steal away this Aegis. Zai, he gets the two-man crush, but Supreme instantly blinking himself away. Swap back in. The Rolling Thunder, though, stopping Zai a little bit longer. He's gonna get on top of Supreme. One hit. That's all he needs. Back 100 time. seconds. There goes Yapsor. He's gonna be dead. Uh, 100 seconds for Supreme, but if Charlie can carry through this with the help of Aerith, they just need some disables. Nisha is now dead. Zai burned out of most of his mana, but the targeting on air, he's gonna be fine. All that physical damage of the bash. Thanks to the Corrosive Haze, he's able to get that kill. Charlie gets out with the Aegis, but it's just him. There's good fighting on Secret, but it's more so like the Clockwork can just disrupt the, the big ball in that normally Pango would be good. Okay, he does have his BKB coming up, but it may be too late. He's already been tossed some of the air, takes a good amount of damage. Now he just needs the physical damage of the AM, but he has to blink away every single time. He's so scared of Zai. Zai, now gonna be able to hunt down Saber Light. Up next, the Pangolier. Is he gonna be able to swashbuckle away? Gets a little bit of distance, thanks to the Force Staff. Rolling Thunders back in on them. Stunts up Zai for a little bit. Era, Puppy actually went in. They managed to finish up Era. Era went down. Oh, Charlie Charlie's in. in! Oh, Charlie! That Midas Arbor was too much! He thought he could get offensive, and now he doesn't have buyback. Ninjas in pajamas, they were holding on, but without their primary carry, it looks like all hope is lost for this game, too. Just need about 12 bounties, and he'll be good. Okay. Well, Supreme, he's going to have to do it by himself here, but... <laughs> look at Zai, water, he's just man. 1v3 diving. It oh. just makes Zai look unkillable. They have a glyph, a little bit of time. Magic Missile into an Abyssal Blade. Now it's going to be the Pangolier. One buyback. That's for Supreme, but <laughs> he can't even kill the supports, man. Nice swap back into the cogs. Just a little bit of extra style and class there from Nisha as they finally do. Yeah, top lane. Oh, it's easy. He's the target. They're bringing in everybody here. They know that this is their opportunity to burst in with the Doom down That's a on big him. Kill. There should be a cleanup for them. The rest of EGRT being over, trying to get over to, to help him out. It's not going to happen. Miracle finishes off the kill with the Mana Void. That's Miracle for the first time now, getting involved in some action himself. Able to turn up and, and pick up one of the big ones. EG wants to take this fight. See what they can catch. Ramses looking into the trees. I mean, Nigma, they're still not. Too upset with fighting this. They're gonna turn the stun down to GPK. Tried to get in, but now the curse is there from GH. Dragging in the two of the Miracle, just draining the uh, the mana of GPK, trying to limit what he can pop out of this. And with his mana gone, GPK's got nothing less to offer. He's gone. Ramses as well cleaned up. Nigma with their first big fight of the game, starting to, to really regain everything they were losing here as it's back up to even. The catch is there on crit. As EG, they wanted to chase. They felt that they Still could. Terribly. Keeping him in, another jump in, again, burn through the mana, Stolen Curse gets another usage out, and it's a big one, it's onto the Doom, protection provided by GH with the Cold Embrace, they'll drop the Golem down, fly, he's in with the hookshot, gets the three of them, the mana boy comes out to Arteezy, but Arteezy, he's life stealing back up, they can't even kill him the once. RTZ will live. GPK in on the pack lines, gets the RP onto Miracle, but there isn't any further follow up. So Miracle will be able to live. GPK's got to be careful. Oh, Shoots away. That's cute. Like drop. He bought back for this. Does allow him to get and drop the Doom down onto GPK. Another cold embrace from GH. Keep in mind control alive. But RTZ turns, punching into the Doom. Jump forward. The stolen Astral Step crit. Able to close the gap onto the Doom. Picks him up. Mind control. Can he live this? He's got to stay alive. He bought back for this one, but he won't survive. RTZ gets the final hit with the meta. Miracle finished on the back lines. He's found. Crit, turns over towards Fly. They've taken out three Miracle of them now. In. They can collapse onto the Terra Blade. Buyback's coming up from EG. They want to keep RTZ safe. But RTZ, he's live stealing up. He's man fighting Miracle. He's winning it for now. But again, GH, the Golden Embrace, he keeps Miracle alive. Miracle's able to blink out. He won't die today. But still, an expensive fight here for EG. They've used three buybacks. Let's see what they can do with this. They do know that Mind Control is without a buyback for a minute. But the rest of Nigma are still up, and, and Weeha can get back in. Arteezy still has that Aegis, that Satanic, keeping him alive multiple times in a row. Void Spirit Miracle. with the buyback, Miracle's in. He's gonna jump in, the silence though, he's been caught out, he's gotta blink out in time, he can't do so, the clumsy net! He's gone! And Weeha's out of the base, jumps in, trying to combo down the Rubik, silence is there, buyback comes out from Weeha and Miracle. Weeha, burst down crit, see if they can chase for more Nigma. Blink and blink in the trees. They can't Arteezy's find anything. in. He's out. <laughs> All right. He went in and TP'd out. Woo. 
Lee Ji's turn to make a smoke move. Straight up on the top, they'll look to dive in under the tower. Instant TP reactions coming out from Enigma. Three apiece. They'll turn with the telekinesis onto the storm. Have they got any follow up catch? Miracle. He's in with the chains. We are able to step over. They get the last storm. off, but the Bloodstone heal is starting to bring it back Stolen up. Stolen Doom once again. again. He's getting in every single fight. GH secures them the kill onto GPK. RTZ, he's not even going to be able to TP out. Miracle's in with the chains. They'll catch the carry profit. They have lost two themselves. We oh, good He's still looking towards Ramsey's crit. Goes with the shackle shot and the focus fire. Can EG clean this one back up? They found three for the two. We are still going to have a poke a little bit, but Ramsey's able to blink off in time. Like RMN is already out. They dropped the tombstone. They're running this down. Sorry, upon to fly. Fly will die to the, the chase of the zombies. We are blinking in for more. Crit goes for the TP out. Nothing to cancel it, so he'll make it away. Make a play, you know. Put one hero, bait it, but they need to be ready with either like a Shackle a or a Big Zip. But it's into to the high ground. They look for Miracle, but the BKB is popped. They've got the lasso, the vacuum as well. They're stuck up on the second cliff. Crit will get knocked back down, but the damage is there from Miracle to take him out. Ramses is stuck up. The BKB comes to an end as Ramses will try to TP out, but Miracle's back in with the chains to cancel it. GPK tries to zip him, but he's low on the mana. He's got to be careful. The Yule's control there. Yeah, I believe Miracle with the... Was that, yeah, that was a self yours there. He did attempt to try and catch GPK, ended up just getting himself. So they, they've got that jump. He's going to go for the for the solo skewer onto Ramses. Instant BKB from Ramses. No messing around. In fact, he's got to turn towards Weeha, GPK. Thinking about chasing this. Has been corrosive haste. He's going to go in aggressively with the Astral Step. Bringing Weeha low. Just to buy the Yules. Weeha is going to skewer away. But the jump forward on oh, the threat. skewer back. The counterplay. Beautiful stuff here from the Rubik. The Doom's down on Miracle. Oh, that. They're getting run over pretty hard right now, Nigma. EG coming in at the, the, the sort of the highest of class here in game three. I love how Ramses was just holding on to that Doom. Like he yeah. could have easily used oh, the again. Magnus, but did not want to another skewer play from Crit. Yeah, Crit. He's just coming in with Meant EG way. This is one of the desperation smokes. Oh, that's easy. Still ages on play. He just diving in. He dispels the whole smoke himself. He takes down RMN in a couple of hits. There's the telekinesis onto the, the Phoenix. He gets the supernova out. Skewer across to the side. Can they kill the egg? They'll turn. They'll focus it down. It's gone. There'll be a buyback from GH. Mind controlling with the two-man crush on the back. But they're in. Weeha. RP on three. Is there any damage follow up? There is not. Weeha's going to go down. Four dead on Nigma. No buybacks on the four of them. GH trying to dive away, but the impetus chases him through. A fade bolt from Crit to the back wipes the side of Nigma as they're all dead. EG up to the high ground. Let's see what Nigma has left as this will be the final shot. They try, they get the three man RP, but this resonant pulse silence just stopping any follow up crush. They're getting killed off right by the fountain. Miracle will pop the ult, try and turn towards Ramsey's GH. Healing him up. He is burning GPK. Will manage to kill the Void Spirit. Does something. A buyback from RMN. Can they catch more out of this? They get the glimpse back onto Arteezy. He's trapped in the kinetic field. Miracle tries to commit, but the telekinesis will halt his attempt. He looks to jump back. Actually goes back towards Arteezy. Miracle now going for the refuel. GH yeah, losing goes for the sunray. He did get the two-man Meteor Hammer onto the two of them. They have killed the Klings, but they'll lose RMN. Miracle does also get the pickup onto Fly.